Thousand Autumns, is a Meng Shi Shi novel. This is an audiobook made by fans for other fans. Disclaimer. The main couple of the story is made up of two men, if you don't like it don't listen. Thank you. Remember. Subscribe and click the bell to stay updated on all the new releases. Enjoy. Extra number 3. The ground was wide and even here, there was a mountain to one side, a natural wind barrier in the night, truly a good spot to rest, Lubayashi did not choose this spot half haphazardly, however Shen Qiao with his martial arts acumen sensed that not all was quite right. He took a careful look of their surroundings in all directions. The sun was setting, the world thrown into dusk, his injured eyes had gradually recovered with his Nye Gong, he could see more or less as clearly as before, in his scan of the area, he didn't uncover anything suspicious. Dea Zhang, Lu Baishi came over to extend a personal invitation, they're boiling jerky, if Dea Zhang doesn't mind meat, do you want to join us? Truthfully he had no great interest in this kind of too pretty deist, but the other always carried a sword, and that sword didn't seem like mere decoration, he probably did have some skill, if something did happen on the road they'd at least have each other, for someone like him who was used to wandering the Jianghu as a career, one more friend was better than one more enemy. Shen Qiao didn't mind meat, just that he preferred lighter fare, on the road however there was no room to pick and choose, so he didn't turn down the invitation, after thanking him he walked over, sat down to drink pork soup together. The mother and daughter of the Li family were sitting in the carriage, curtains drawn, blocking out the view of the inside, surrounding the carriage were the Li family servants and maidservants, Li Baishi and his group were very sensible and didn't disturb them, the two groups remained about ten steps apart. Dea Zhang, after arriving in Jiankang, do you have somewhere to stay, if not, you could head to Baimanguan in the city, rumor has it that the new emperor has expressed interest in deist rituals, with your charm, if you went you would for sure be selected. Shen Qiao, laughing crying stay silent. Although he was a deist, he was not the kind that brewed elixirs and drew seals. Truth was that there were many different types of deists. But he didn't refute Lu Baishi, only asked, in my memory, Chen favors the RU sex, how come the new emperor is interested in deists? It was only after Shen Qiao had crossed the Chen border that he learned the previous Chen emperor Chen Su had recently passed, that the new emperor Chen Shibao was the son of Chen Su and Empress Lu Jinjian, formally and rightfully ascending the throne. He also recalled, Chen was situated within the jurisdiction of Linchuang Xiogong, the Empress Lu Jinjian, now Empress Dowager, had another identity as Ruyan Ky's Shimei. Lu Baishi laughed and shook his head, this matter, how would I know of it, perhaps the Emperor's temporary fixation, to brew elixirs? From antiquity to now, what Emperor takes an exception to chasing after immortality, even among us Jianghu people, isn't there a belief that the pinnacle of martial arts cultivation is also the realm of the celestials? But an emperor not interested in political affairs, instead preoccupied with the intangible, fruitless lifelong task of brewing elixirs, it was nature standing on its head. Shen Qiao was aware that someone like Lu Baishi wouldn't know the details, so he didn't ask too much, after chatting idly for some time, night had descended completely, they all got up one by one to go rest. Is Shen Dea Zhang not planning to rest? Lu Baishi saw that he was still seated cross-legged under a tree, and asked after him. It was a summer night, on the road there was no fuss, there were no tents to rest in, many people lay down directly on the ground to sleep, otherwise they lay on one of the luggage carts, covering themselves with the robe. Spending the night like this, Lu Baishi and the others were used to this kind of life, and didn't consider it a particular hardship. I'm used to meditating to rest, the night time is no exception, 
Lu Xiang doesn't need to worry. Shen Qiao smiled. Lu Baixi, somewhat envious, I, back when I was learning martial arts, I'd also use meditation in lieu of sleep, unfortunately after so many years of wandering left and right, the weariness from the day, after I lie down at night I lose all of my senses, after all this time, the sect Gongfu that Shifu taught me has all gone to waste. Shen Qiao asked, which sect does Lu Xiang come from? Lu Baixi, I am a disciple of Zongnan sect. Shen Qiao, surprised, that's the same sect as Zhang Sun Shen. Lu Baixi, dejected, Zhang Sun Shikshen is the personal disciple of the sect leader, and is of high birth from a northern family, I'm just a son of a commoner, and only disciple in name, am unfit to enter the hallowed halls, how would I dare say I am from the same sect as Zhang Sun Shikshen? Shen Qiao offered some comforting words, only then did Lu Baixi's mood improve a little, seeing Shen Qiao meditate, he remembered the skill he had neglected for so long, his heart itched, so he sat down next to him, and prepared to meditate through the night. He did have a practice of sitting to meditate, but many people considered meditation separate from sleeping, Lu Baixi had every intention of mimicking Shen Qiao, but before midnight, he couldn't help himself, leaning against a tree, he fell soundly asleep. At this moment, Shen Qiao suddenly leapt up, dove forwards. Simultaneously, sound broke open the sky, arrows like shooting stars fell upon the Li family carriage. No one had time to react, there had been sentries standing guard, but by this time of night most people couldn't shrug off their fatigue, their reactions were much slower, even Lu Baixi someone who had trained in an orthodox martial arts sect, had just opened his eyes, raising his head to look in the direction of the noise. That arrow was unable to strike the carriage before it was caught by a hand. Shen Qiao snapped the arrow in his hand in two, more arrows followed. Bandits. Bandits. Sharp whistles and yells started into the night, even the deepest sleepers were eventually roused, grasping their swords they prepared to enter battle. By the time they had reacted, Shen Qiao had already intercepted five six arrows, the other side had not expected this group to have such a powerful asset, seeing that their ambush was unsuccessful, they were forced to step out into the light, bursting out of the night, they attacked. This group wore all black, they were bandits clearly, Lu Baixi had said earlier that this stretch of road was in the inter-regions, not in the jurisdiction of the south or the north, bandits were common, the Li family mother and daughter didn't expect their luck to be so good, encountering such a misfortune, they were screaming in fear in the carriage, the servants that had originally surrounded the carriage had on account of the arrows ducked and evaded every which way. The scene was one of chaos. The group consisted of 30-40 people, every single one was a capable martial artist who had trained from childhood, their statures large and menacing, their expressions frightening, after realizing the situation the bodyguards struggled against them, however their lethality was a notch below, very quickly they lost the advantage. The Li family was very well off. On this move to Jiankong they had brought along all of their possessions, anyone with eyes could see that this was a fat sheep for slaughter, naturally the bandits wouldn't have given up on the opportunity, they had been able to mobilize such a large group. What the bodyguards couldn't deal with, there was still a Shen Qiao, Lu Baixi fighting one against two was already at his limits, but for Shen Qiao, these people were slightly more skilled but nothing impressive in his eyes. Shen Hetong Bei leaving its scabbard, it swept away all enemies, these bandits who usually were victorious everywhere, how could they rival Shen Qiao? Everyone watched dumbstruck as Shen Qiao, one against all, injured the bandits, felling them, Lu Baixi finally realized what was happening, he called over people to help, they sealed the bandits meridian points and bound them in rope. Aya. Behind him an arrow sliced through the air, 
aimed at the back of Shen Qiao's head, Shen Qiao hadn't expected that there would still be bandits left hiding in the dark, but with his Wujong, his reaction time was plenty enough, just as he was about to turn to intercept the arrow, there was someone faster than him, that A was from the pain of blocking that arrow. Shen Qiao was stunned, he hadn't expected the Li Xionyongzi who he barely met to appear and block the arrow for him, he could only take the person into his arms and set them on the ground, then went after the person who had shot that arrow, before coming back for the wounded. Li Niangzi clearly did not expect her daughter to suddenly make this gesture, she descended the carriage frantic, and was currently clutching her daughter and sobbing, that arrow had hit Li Xionyongzi's shoulder, blood quickly seeping into a large patch on her clothes. Having no alternative, Shen Qiao carried the person into the carriage, first sealing the meridian points to stop the bleeding, then breaking off the arrow shaft, pulling out the tip, then personally dressed the wound. Li Xionyongzi had lost a lot of blood, she tremulously blinked open her eyes, looked at Shen Qiao who was far away as the horizon and right before her eyes, said besottedly, Dea Zhang, will I die? Shen Qiao, at a loss, no. The position of her injury was remarkable, it hadn't hit any tendon or bone, only the blood loss appeared excessive, but in reality the injury was not serious, Shen Qiao had no need at all for her to risk her life to block this arrow, but she had already done it, he couldn't go against her good intentions. He brought out the medicines that he carried with him and gave them to her, then explained to Li Niangzi to give it to her daughter three times a day, the ointment as well. Li Xionyongzi tugged on Shen Qiao's sleeve, can Dea Zhang stay for another moment? The local customs of the day were not overly conservative, although not to the same degree as the brazen open sexual practices during the Qin and Han dynasties, but a girl could confess to someone she liked, and with her mother was right beside her, the intention behind Li Xionyongzi's words was clear. Shen Qiao shook his head, this poor one is a deist, thank you Xionyongzi for your earlier generosity, it's just that this poor one has enough Wujong for self-preservation, I implore Xionyongzi to not make such a risky gesture in the future. Li Xionyongzi sighed, along this journey, I've grown to admire Dea Zhang, I've observed you secretly for a long time, I also know Dea Zhang's heart is like a stone, has no intentions towards me, but a person living their lifetime, a tree reaching autumn, it won't be more than a couple of decades, to have the occasion of meeting someone you like is already so rare, if it's only to save face, losing it is no big deal. If Dea Zhang is moved by my words, of course I'd be ecstatic, if not, then I was still true to my own heart. Li Niangzi hadn't expected her daughter to declare such bold words, she almost wanted to clamp her hand over her mouth, my child shut up. Shen Qiao paused, Xionyongzi's words capture the essence of Dea's teachings, to act in accordance with the heart, not conceding to expectation. Li Xionyongzi smiled weakly, to arrive at a deist principle, I didn't expect to be ahead of Dea Zhang. Shen Qiao didn't say anything more to her, there was nothing to say, he left behind the medicines, exchanged a few more words with Li Niangzi, and then took his leave. Outside Lu Baishi and his group had resolved the matter of the bandits, they were cleaning up the aftermath, in this era to turn in these people to the officials would be futile, they really didn't care, the bandits all had lives on their hands, apart from executing them the only option would be to let the tiger return to his mountain, the next round of travelers on this road would be subject to their attack again, Lu Baishi didn't choose the latter option. After Lu Baishi dealt with everything, Don was ghosting the horizon, all sleepiness had gone, he prepared to get everyone back on the road. He saw Shen Qiao still standing under a tree, so he walked over and saw that the other was quite out of it, who knew what he was thinking, he couldn't help but laugh, the Li family is rich, 
Lizionyongzi is also completely besotted with Daozhang. If Daozhang wants to resume secular life and enter their family, in the future you are certain to sit on a pile of riches. Only then did Shen Qiao return from his thoughts, throughout this journey his mind was a knot, only to be suddenly unraveled by Li Zionyongzi's brief words, it was if he had solved at once many questions that he had thought about for so long, in this instant his face shone, under the warm brush of dawn, he was like clear jade, even Lubayashi was struck by his countenance, he thought no wonder Li Zionyongzi would be besotted at first glance, willing to risk her life, this deist is indeed something to look at, never mind his superior Wu Zhang. Lu Xiong, I have a question to ask you. Shen Qiao said. Lu Baishi, frazzled, earlier it was Dea Zhang who saved us, I haven't even had a chance to thank you for saving my life, no need to be so formal, Dea Zhang can ask anything. Shen Qiao, with a serious expression, can I ask Lu Xiong, have you ever had a sweetheart? Lu Baishi, dumbstruck, ha. Huh? End of the chapter. Stay tuned for more BL.